children now it's our exercise time so we have some exercise in your workbook so we will do the workbook exercise okay so the first exercise in the workbook for the lesson 16 good manners and habits is tick the correct answer this is the first exercise in the workbook tick the correct answer so there are four questions given hmm? For the four question, each question, you have two options. Option A, option B. Among these two options, one option is the correct answer. So, which is the correct answer? You should check and you should see which is the correct answer. The correct answer near, uh, there is a box. So, you have to tick it. Which is the correct answer? There you have to tick. Each word, you, uh, two options are there for each question. Uh, and near the re op each option we have a square box so the correct answer you have to tick in the square box first one you should always go to be bed when early late you have to get up early in the morning then you have to go to bed also early then only you can get up early in the morning isn't it so you should always go to bed early isn't it yes so, option A is the correct answer. E-A-R-L-Y. Early. So, early is the correct answer. You should go to bed early. Then only you can get up early in the morning. So, early is the correct answer. There in the square box, you have to put a tick. Now, second. You should fight with everyone. Uh -huh. Is it correct? Is it true or false? Will you fight with everyone? Is it a good habit? No, you should not fight with everyone, isn't it? Yes, so you should fight with everyone. Option A, true. Option B, false. Is it true or false? It is false. We should not fight, isn't it? So given sen sentence is false. So this is the correct answer. So here you have to give a tick. Now third one. Yes, read the third question. You should always help people. Is it true or false? We should always help poor and needy people or old people. It is a good habit to help the people, old and old people, isn't it? So you should always help people. Option A true, option B false. It is True, T-R-U-E, true. So here you have to give a tick. Yes. Now fourth question, the last one. Say dash, when you do something wrong. Ah, if you do something wrong, you should say what? If you have good manners or if you have, if you are following good habits, then if you have done anything wrong, you must tell sorry isn't it yes so say dash when you do something wrong option a shout option b sorry so if you do something wrong you should say sorry so s-o-r-r-y sorry option b is the correct answer so in here in the square box you should put a tick mark so first one you should always go to bed Early, option A is the right answer. Second, you should fight with everyone. False. So here you have to give the tick. Third one, you should always help people. True. Tick here. Say sorry when you do something wrong. Option B is the correct answer. Okay, children? Children, so our next exercise in the workbook is exercise 2. Fill in the blanks with the correct option. So, here you, uh, you can see A, B, C, D, E. Five fill in the blanks questions are there. And in brackets, two options are given. You have to choose the correct answer and you have to write here in the blanks. Okay? So, first one, A. We should dash elders. We should obey, disobey. We should respect elders or we should obey elders. Means respect. So, the correct answer is obey. This is the correct answer. Isn't it? 
So, obey. O, B, E, Y. Obey elders. We should obey elders. Second. Which is the second question here? Can you read children? Yes. Come on, read along with me. We should dash animals. Help tease. We should. Which is the correct answer? Help or tease? We should. Ah, we should help animals. So, help. H E L P. Help. We should help animals. Now, C. The third one. We should go to school. Dash. We should go to school late on time. Which is the correct answer here? We should go to school on time yes this is the correct answer we should go to school on time so right here on time t i m e time we should go to school on time then next question d a child who has good dash is loved by all a child who has good Habits, strips. Which is the correct answer? A child who has good habits is loved by all. If you have a good habit and good manners, then you will be loved by everyone. Isn't it? So, a child who has good habits. This is the correct answer. So, write here habits. H-A-B-I-T-S. Habits. A child who has good habits is loved by, loved by all. Last one, question number E. Speak dash to everyone. Speak harshly, softly to everyone. Which is the correct answer? Harshly or softly? Harshly means in an anger way. Angrily or we say in a rude way. Softly means very soft and polite. So speak dash to everyone. Speak. Yes, this is the correct answer, isn't it? Speak softly to everyone. Yes, O, F, T, L, Y. Softly. Speak softly to everyone. So the first one or A. Question number A. We should obey elders. O, B, E, Y. Second question. Question number B. We should help animals. H, E, L, P. Help. Third one, question number C. We should go to school on time. O N on T I M E time. Then fourth one, question number D. A child who has good habits is loved by all. H A B I T S habits. Then last one, fifth one, question number E. Speak dash to everyone. Speak. Softly to everyone. S O F T L Y. Softly. Okay, children? Yes, children. So, our next exercise in the workbook is exercise 3. Let's answer. Huh? There are questions given. You have to answer those questions. Okay, three questions are the A, B, C. So, first question. Question A. Yes, children. Come on. Read the first question. Question A. Name the three golden words. Name the three golden words that you learned. So which are the, those golden words? Answer. Thank you. T-H-A-N-K-Y-O-U. Thank you. Comma. Sorry. S-O-R-R-Y. Sorry. And please. P-L-E-A-S-C. Please are the three golden words. Thank you, sorry and please are the three golden words. Okay, now coming to the next question. Question B. Where do you learn good manners? Where do you learn good manners, children? We learn good manners at home and also at school, isn't it? Yes. So answer, we learn good manners from our parents. P-A-R-E-N-T-S. Parents and teachers. 
T E A C H E R S teachers so we learn good manners from our parents and teachers next third question or question number C which is the question number C children name any three good manners you learn many good manners good habits so you have to write any three of them first answer first one get up early in the morning early e a r l y early in the morning m o r n i n g morning get up early in the morning one good manner second brush your teeth twice a day brush b r u s h brush your teeth t e e t h teeth twice a day t w i c e twice a day now third good manner speak softly to everyone s p e a k speak softly s o f t l y softly to everyone e v e r y o n e everyone speak softly to everyone so name any three good manners first one get up early in the morning second brush your teeth twice a day third speak softly to everyone so the question number a the first one is name the three golden words thank you comma sorry and please are the three golden words question number b what do you learn good manners we learn good manners from our parents and teachers question number c name any three good manners answer first one get up early in the morning second brush your teeth twice a day third speak softly to everyone okay children yes children so our next exercise in the workbook is exercise 4 take the sentences that show a good habit so here uh, five sentences are there a b c d e five sentences are there that shows a, uh, that you have to check whether that sentences show a good habit or not if it a good habit then you have to put a tick in the square box if it is not a good habit then you should not put the tick you can put a cross okay yes so the first one a I always say thank you when someone helps me. If anyone helps you, you will say thank you or not? Yes. So it is a good habit. So you can give a tick mark in the square box. I always say thank you when someone helps me. It's a good habit. So give a tick. Now B I fought with my brother yesterday. Is it a good habit? You should not fight, isn't it? So it is not a good habit. So you have to put a cross because it is not a good habit. Now, see, I threw stones at a puppy today. You should not tease animals. You should not throw stones at puppies or dogs, isn't it? So throwing stones is at animals is not a good habit i threw stones at a puppy today is not a good habit so you have to put a cross now d i got a gift from my uncle i did not like it so i threw it away uncle gave me a gift but i did not like it i threw it away is it a good habit children you should never do that it is not a good habit if someone gives you gift you should receive it happily you should take it happily if you like it or not like it you have no right to throw it away so i got a gift from my uncle i did not like it so i threw it away is it a good habit no it is not a good habit so you should put a cross Now last one E I watch TV till late night 
till late night I was watching TV. Is it a good habit? Watching TV till late night. You should not watch too much of TV, isn't it? So this is not a good habit. So you put a cross mark. Okay? Yes. So I always say thank you when someone helps me. It is a good habit. So put a tick. I fought with my brother yesterday. It's not a good habit. So cross. I threw stones at a puppy today. Again, it's not a good habit. So cross in the square box. I got a gift from my uncle. I did not like it. So I threw it away. It is not a good habit. So put a cross in the square box. Last one, I watched TV till late night. It is not a good habit. So put a cross in the square box. Okay, children? Yes. Let's do it. It is the next exercise. Let's do it in your workbook. You can see, let's do it. You can see an image of or an outline of a girl doing something. What is that girl doing there? Is she doing a right thing or a correct thing? She is putting waste in the dustbin. Isn't it a waste paper? Something she is putting in the dustbin. It is a good habit. She is doing a correct thing. Okay, so color the picture in which the girl is doing the correct thing. So you have to color that picture. Isn't it? Okay? You can use color pencils, different color pencils and color it very neatly and nicely. Okay? So do it children. Thank you.